Good morning. As we are in our Lent season, I will continue to do the Psalms. But the first thing I need to ask us all is, what is Lent? Well, as many of you know, the word Lent comes from the old English word Lenten, which simply means spring, which literally means when the days lengthen and new life springs forth. It is a time in which we anticipate the victory of the light and life of Christ over the darkness of sin and death. It is, to borrow a phrase from C.S. Lewis, a season of a kind of happiness and wonder that makes you serious. As we journey from Ash Wednesday, which was yesterday, to Easter, let us be reminded of the reality of our broken humanity But as days grow brighter, we will experience with greater abundance the reality of God's redeeming grace. And so, just as we carefully prepare for big events in our personal lives, such as a wedding or a big birthday, Lent invites us to make our hearts ready for remembering Jesus' death and resurrection. As I said at the beginning, the last few devotions that I've done, we've been thinking about the Psalms. And I will continue to do so this morning as we look at the first four verses of Psalm 6, where it says, O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Be merciful to to me, Lord, for I am faint. O Lord, heal me, for my bones are in agony. My soul is in anguish. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. I think if we are all honest, there are many times we have we have a hard time saying, I'm sorry. Or perhaps more accurately, we say, I'm sorry, but our acknowledgement of how we have hurt someone or disappointed someone is often followed by our excuse for why it happened. Psalm 6 is first of seven penitential psalms. There's six, there's 32, Psalm 38, 51, 102, 130 and 143 and these are frequently used as part of the Christian church's Lent season. The theme of these seven psalms is consistent. The psalmist expresses deep sorrow for his sin, asking God for help and forgiveness. In today's psalm, David itemizes his distress Both his body and his soul feel overwhelmed with anguish. David realises he is experiencing the consequence of his own sin. He cries out in physical and spiritual pain, knowing that God's discipline is justified for the way he has disobeyed God. However, David's confession before God is anchored in his confidence that God will forgive. He calls out for God's deliverance, convinced that God will hear an answer because of God's steadfast love. In spite of the situation in which David finds himself, he knows that he will not permanently abide in anguish and distress because of God's unfailing love. Verses 8 and 9 say, The Lord has heard my weeping. The Lord has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord accepts my prayer. As we enter this time of Lent, we can say, I'm sorry before God. When we confess before the Lord, who is merciful, we are assured of God's forgiveness. Instead of saying, I'm sorry, but, we can say, I'm sorry because of your steadfast love and forgiveness. 
What a wonderful God we serve. Let's just pray. Dear Lord, we confess before you our sinfulness, our brokenness, and our need to experience your abundant mercy. Help us each day to come before you and say, I'm sorry. Every day, let us experience your great love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you on Saturday.